Welcome back to a new episode here in Suave. I almost said Friday. So today, as you can see in the title, in the intro, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly use the rotoscoping tool in the color tab in DaVinci Resolve. And here I have already the video that I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna use a sort of like flat video that doesn't have a lot of movement because that's the easiest way to explain it. But then I'm gonna show you what can you do if there's a lot of movement or stuff going on in your video. So basically rotoscoping is what do you do if you want to separate the background and a subject and have the space in between? So let me just show you in the color tab right now. So what are we going to do? So in the color tab here in Adventure Resolve, the first thing we want to do is we're going to create a new node by right clicking here and then add a serial node. Then we're going to create this pen tool sort of that is located here in this window. And then we're going to create a mask around our subject. So we got to make sure that our mark, our line here is in the first frame. And then we can go around and create our mask around our subject. And I'm going to speed this up right now. Okay, once we have our mask, this one might not be perfect, but because it's just for the explainer video. Okay, so then we have this mask. What do we do next is we're gonna go to the tracker here and you can click the interactive mode or not. Let me just leave it on and then we're gonna track this and see what it turns out to be. So I'm gonna press track forward. You can also track backwards. So if you have a frame here and you wanna go backwards, you draw it in a different frame. So there's no big deal of if you forget to put it in the first one. It will, depending on your video, it might take a little bit longer or less long. So we will see. And I'm gonna stop it right around frame or second 12 because that's when some movement starts to happen. Whoop, let me go back here. And then we see these one got crazy, right? So we have to select these again and put it back into place. Oops, let's see and to track to select these you simply hold shift and create that square and then you can move these around okay now put them back into place and then we track behind we track backwards so we are tracking again just to make sure that any smaller like dots didn't get crazy because of the movement that we did but after we have these, you can see how it sort of like follows the shape of our subject because our subject is not moving much. If your subject is moving a lot, like let's say the arms move, you might have to create a new one as we did here and then only do that to track the arm of our subject. But right now we have these already. What we're going to do is add the alpha output connected here and we are basically have a transparent background. Now we can go back to our edit tab and add these in the third video layer maybe we're gonna bring back our original video a copy of an original one and we're gonna put it right below so what this means is that you can pretty much add anything in between these so one thing that i had an idea is i'm gonna go here in the in this clip and i'm going to open it as a fusion clip so we're gonna open it as a fusion whoops Open Infusion page. And in this Fusion page, what we're gonna do is something really cool. So we're gonna add a tracker. And we're gonna put this tracker like right here on top of the head maybe, not on the subject, but in the background. And we can also turn this color on. And then we're gonna track forward. Okay, and now that we have our tracker, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our selection tools by pressing Ctrl M and we're going to add a text, normal text note, whoops, not like that. Let me just drag it from here and we're going to write, let's write, be happy, although she's kind of serious, but that's fine. And right now we're not seeing anything because in our tracker, I think we have to change this operation. 
Yeah, we're gonna change the operation to match move and then foreground over background, which is foreground, the green line, background is the yellow one. So right now, don't worry about these being on top of the head of our lovely model right here because I'm going to use the other thing that we already rotoscoped and have that one over it. So basically, it's gonna look like the wall has these behind it. Okay, so now we have that and it's sort of like attached to the background. So it's not, so it's going to try to stay still at least a little bit. Okay, so then we go back to our first thing. And now we have our background with a graffiti behind in the wall. And then you can do pretty much it with, you can do this type of thing with any effect or like you can add anything in the background so that is pretty much how you would rotoscope something and so you can separate the background and the foreground when you have a subject and it's easier if you have a still subject it gets a little bit more complicated if you have a moving su subject with a lot of moving parts but yeah so i hope that this video helped you out and I hope to see you in the next video here in Suave.